here's the concept all laid out. We have one, two, three, four pieces of PVC. On the outer rims, um, on the left, on the top, and on the right, those are one inch, 10 foot PVC pipes. In the middle, this is a three quarter inch, 10 foot PVC pipe. Um, and we got that a little bit different for two reasons. One is it's slightly cheaper, and the other is that the connector for one inch to one inch um, was out at the store, so um, this bracket's for support. So we went with the three quarter inch. So <clears throat> this is um, this is the basic frame that will hold up the beans, and then these pipes um, are for anchoring it into the ground. So we'll bury this a couple feet up and then we'll slide the PVC pipe down into it and then I'll make sure it gets nice and deep and secure into the ground. So each of the vertical PVC pipes will go into one of these, um, I don't know, I guess I could call it a grounding stake. So got the receipt here. The Each of the one inch PVC pipes, we got three of them, were 325 so that's 975 we got um, this conduit, which we could have also done rebar, but we were right next to it in the store, and it was longer and it was sturdy, so um, I decided to get the conduit. These were um, $2.13 a piece, and we got three of those. And then No, I made a mistake. The the three one inch PVC pipe were at three twenty five each, and the three quarter inch PVC pipe um, was two dollars and twenty three cents. The half inch five foot conduit is um, two thirteen a piece, and then we have the connectors. We have one elbow, one T, and another elbow over here. Um, so, yeah. So, um, the T was seventy six cents. And each elbow is 94 cents. And then the last thing we have is just this um, jute twine. And I just had this laying around, so it was no extra cost for me. But I think I actually got this um, at the Dollar Tree for a buck. So this will be used to um, trellis up the beans. Essentially we're just going to connect all these pieces together like you would a tent or anything else like that and um, get it in the ground. But one thing we're going to do ahead of time is these um, vertical poles are 10 foot poles and while many bean varieties will actually climb that high, it doesn't do me any good because I'm only 5 foot 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stand one of these poles up, put my hand up as high as I can on the pole and um, that's about... Um, the height that I want these and if they grow past that that's fine I just want to be able to reach my beans so we're going to assemble this um
between us, I was a single mom for several years, and I did fine. There isn't a single thing here that I couldn't do on my own, but I have my husband here to help me, and he's amazing. He does a great job, and he's patient with me, and I do ask a lot of him, but he always happily helps me. And so, although these jobs are easy enough for anybody to do alone, I am really grateful to have him to help me with all of it. It's hot over here. It's not really that hot, it's just... <laughs> it's buggy and damp and moist. Hi, I'm Craig. In our relationship, I do the thinking and he does the lifting. Look. There you go. I don't know if this repels bees, which are good for the garden, but we're getting even eating, wait, we're getting eaten alive. This is Minnesota. We use bug spray. Peace out.